So this is one of our firewood trucks. It's a 1995 International, um, was it 4900? It's got a DT 466 um, turbo diesel in it. And generally it's a pretty good truck. And the DT 466 is known to be a really good reliable engine. However, it doesn't have a whole lot of power. Um, that's another one of the trucks we use for firewood and that also has a DT 466 and that one actually has more power than the new one. Um, I think this one's detuned. Um, you can set the timing and the fuel rate on it. Um, and I've already set it, uh, changed it a little bit, but I'm going to go change it a little bit more and um, turn up the fuel a little bit. Uh, we haven't messed with the timing yet because that's more work than turning up the fuel. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. And um, I'll get the hood open and reposition. So here's the fuel pump for the engine. Um, it's a later style pump. There's another style with a different and then this is a Bosch P pump and there's four bolts here you can take off this uh, I forget what they call it but take off this block here. Um, this screw is a security screw. Um, when it's put in there's a thing on top and you tighten it down then you break that thing off you're supposed to not be able to take off this cover anymore. Um, however with the chisel I was able to tap the screw around and loosen it up and and cut a slot in it so now it's a flat head. I've also heard on the internet that you could drill a, so a hole in it that's a certain size and then you pound in a torque 15 bit and you can loosen it up with a torque bit and get it out that way. So here's the fuel plate. This somehow adjusts the torque curve and fuel delivery of the engine. I don't really know how it all works. Um, works by magic. This was set forward, if we count towards the back of the truck as zero and at the forward of the, all the way forward at one, it was set at about a third and I moved it to about two thirds of the way and now I'm gonna loosen it up and move it all the way forward and see how that goes. Uh, apparently if you go too far you get lots of smoke and problems I guess Dodge people will, it's a similar pump to a Dodge Cummins, um, will just remove this plate, but apparently you're not supposed to do that in internationals because terrible things happen. Um, I don't know if the performance plates for Dodge trucks are interchangeable with this um, international. If somebody knows, let me know because we might consider getting a performance plate if it really makes a difference. Um, but right now I'm just going to slide it forward and see what happens. This, the little bit that we have done has made a difference. Um, sliding it forward, the little bit we've done, um, before you have to downshift going up one of the hills, you continually lose speed um, in fourth gear. It's a five speed, and in fourth gear you'd be dropping down to you know, 35 going up the hill, and now you can hold over 40. So still, and that's empty, so still nothing... Um, earth shattering but um, makes the truck a lot more drivable so so here on top of the engine you can see they have got different models of DT 466 and they just changing the fuel rate and the timing so at the lower power ratings it's at 13 degrees and the higher ones is at 15 and they were changing the fuel rate um, I don't know what what I just set the fuel rate to obviously um, in the, the wood yard just moving the plate so um, so anyways um, but that just changes so we're pretty safe changing the fuel rate um, up some uh, I guess you can get higher exhaust temperatures and stuff so we might bring it back down again depending um, we'll probably will check the timing at some point and if it's at 13 because um, I don't know what this where it's set now we might go to 15 or 16 if it's at 15 we might just leave it um, depending on how the truck's driving um, we don't need to go too crazy on this thing um, well, but we do like to go up hills without having to, to downshift a whole lot so anyways I have 
So I have the plate moved and it's probably significantly more forward than what it was before the last change. I think this one was a bigger change. Um, wasn't sure how big the slots were. Um, but now it's all the way forward so we'll see how it, how it goes.